May 18th marks the 72nd anniversary of the deportation of the Crimean Tatars. In 1944, around 200,000 people were forced to be taken away from their homes by the order of the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. And today, this photo exhibition is dedicated to the victims of the communist repressions. The exhibition features 10 portraits of the Tatars who personally experienced the deportation. Their stories begin on the day the Soviet police broke into their homes. The communists accused them of cooperation with Nazi Germany, and in two days, almost all Tatars living on the peninsula were moved to Central Asia. We published personal stories of 10 people who survived the deportation. They are the representation of the people. They bear the genetic code of the nation. So we wanted to tell this tragedy through their exact words. The organizers of the exhibition read the stories of the Crimean Tatars out loud. They say they want to explain the full scale of this crime, because even now many Ukrainians either don't know or confuse the facts about the deportation. And this is uh, more than just what it, it looks like. It's not just an exhibition, because when you take the paper and read these stories in a few paragraphs, you feel that fear, that um, emotions that were felt by the people who survived from the deportation. The Crimean Tatars say the communist-like repression still exists in today's Crimea, occupied by Russia. The peninsula is surrounded by fear and hatred. The so-called local authorities raid mosques and detain dozens of Muslims on a regular basis. In Majlis, the representative body of Crimean Tatars is now considered an extremist organization. Ukrainian government needs to approve bills aimed to dealing with the consequences of the deportation. Because this deportation is ongoing, people like Mustafa Jamilov, Rafat Chubaro, now Russia has banned them from entering Crimea. Russia is doing this to push out the Crimean Tatars from their homeland. I think they want to force the members of Majlis to give up their connections to the institution. Well, certainly deportation. Uh, of populations is, is a very serious violation of human rights. And if you look in the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, you see that forcible expulsion of population from a territory uh, does constitute a crime. So that's the law of today. And uh, back in 1944, uh, it was also considered a crime against humanity. In 2015, Ukrainian parliament recognized the deportation as a genocide. They have called on the United Nations to do the same. Crimean Tatars hope joint efforts of the international community will stop the persecutions on the Russian-occupied peninsula. They will continue to organize events like this to bring the issue to the forefront. Sergei Ganesian in Kyiv for Ukraine Today.